What's up everybody? We're here in the Bronx, Mulliner Avenue. Behind me is a five family I recently did a refinance for. The one thing that I wanna talk about this one, it has plenty of parking, two big garages behind it, and the rents are a little higher than market because the parking spots are included in the apartment. I was able to explain that to the uh, underwriter and we were able to get a higher value and more cash out for our client. What's up everybody, 1821 Paulding Avenue behind me in the Bronx. This is a legal two family with an extra income apartment below it. Client had no existing mortgage on it. We needed to pull out some money so we can buy another property and we needed it quickly. So the property came in at like one and a half million dollars. We pulled out $900,000 quickly. We were able to close the other deal and stabilize this property. What's up everybody, City Island right now. Behind me is a condominium called the Sailmaker. I don't know if you may have heard of the story. In Florida, there was that large condominium that collapsed and it was due to them not taking care of the building. It's called deferred maintenance, right? Once that happened, all the major investors, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, they stopped lending. They wanted to look into the financials of every condominium before it was, you know, it was able to be lent upon. A lot of people became disqualified because a lot of buildings are not doing the maintenance. Behind me, I was able to do this condominium with 25% down, unwarrantable. What that means is we don't check your financials um, and we were able to close this one in three weeks. The sale maker. So the moral of the story is while you guys are jerking off, I'm closing shit. You're welcome. So today turned out totally different than it was supposed to. It was supposed to be two sit-down interviews, but we made the best of it. We did a visit of three sites that I recently financed. The first one was a five-family. I did it with no tax returns, which is big for people that know. The other one was a two-family with a income-producing extra apartment. Where we did another cash out. And the third one was a condominium in City Island where it didn't have the financials, so we did what's called a non-warrantable transaction, which I was able to close in two weeks. So I hope you enjoy it. Take a look, have fun with it. Any comments, please hit me up.